Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1301. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1300, 1302, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, last video we saw how to, from a number data set, list all of the modes in a single cell. Modes are simply the number that occurs most frequently. So each one of these numbers tied for occurring most frequently. Now here's the formula we use. We use the mode dot multiple, if I F9, that just delivers all of the modes simultaneously. And then of course, Excel 2016 has this amazing text join function where we listed the delimiter. And so when I hit Enter, it lists all of them. The question is, how do we sort? We want the smallest one. So we want 61, 66, and so on. Well, we're going to have to go a little crazy with an array formula here. And it all starts with mode.mamult. So I'm going to copy that and come down here. Well, anytime we want to sort, we're going to use either the small or large function. In our case, we want to show the smallest first. So I'm going to use small. And in the array, those are all the numbers we want to sort. So I'm going to Control V. Now, comma, we know how many there are. So right inside the K, I'm going to put an array of values here. So one, that means it would just give me the first, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth, and curly brackets. Now, I had to house it in curly brackets, because that's how we enter this array constant into the formula. Now what I'm telling small with this array is please show me in order the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So now when I close parentheses, it's not going to work if I enter it. But now if I highlight it and hit F9, it's sorted. Control Z. Ah, but that is not dynamic. We actually have to create an array formula that will dynamically list the array from 1 to 5. But if there's only two modes, I want 1 to 2. I'm going to copy this mode because we're going to have to use that. That tells us how many modes there are, Control c And let's see if we can do this down here. Equals, well, first I have to count. And since they're numbers, we're using count and not count up. Now, this is an array function. And because it's inside of another function, we do not have to use Control shift enter So we know that there are 5. If I come up here and type 77, we know that there's only one mode now, so it shows one. So that count is dynamic. Control Z. I want to create that array, right? So I'm going to, in double quotes, put 1, colon, in double quotes, and join it. Now, this is strange. This is actually going to be text row reference. If I hit F9, it says row 1 to 5. Control Z. That reference is going to get us to an array of 1 to 5. But now, because that's text, I have to use the indirect function to go from reference that's listed as text back to a reference. Now, I can't highlight this and hit F9 because between row 1 and 5, there are way more than 8,000 cells. So we cannot actually evaluate it. But no problem. If I have all those cells from row 1 to 5, I can simply wrap the row function around it. Row will just look through any reference and tell us how many rows there are. Well, we already know how many rows there are between 1 and 5. 5. So now if I highlight this and hit F9, that is what we're after. And it's dynamic. Control Z, if I hit Enter and type a 77 here, if I come down here and I have to evaluate it because it's an array of values, but now if I hit F9, it reports 1. So that, Control-Z, is totally dynamic at creating an array of sequential numbers. Now I'm going to Control-C because I need to copy that. And I'm going to come up here, Control-Z, to get back to the 29. Now I can come up here and inside the K argument right here, I can simply click on the K, Control V. And that whole thing is going to be dynamic. Now if I highlight this and hit F9, there it is, our sorted list. Now we're going to have to put that whole thing inside of text join. 
there is text join and the delimiter first argument, double quote, comma, space, double quote, comma. I want to ignore, but I'm going to leave it empty, and it will assume true, comma. There it is. That text is that whole already sorted array of modes. Now I come to the end, close parentheses. Now this has got a bunch of array operations in it. So it requires the keystroke Control, Shift, and Enter. As soon as you use Control, Shift, Enter, you have to look up to the formula bar and verify that the curly brackets are put in. When I use Control, Shift, Enter, that's me telling Excel to calculate this as an array formula. Those curly brackets are Excel telling you that it understood. Now, we could actually take this one step further. Notice that inside of text one, that's an array of items. If we wanted to avoid having to use Control, Shift, Enter, there are some functions that can handle this array operation without using that special keystroke. And the index function is one of those. So if we take index and put that entire small mode row indirect count mode dot mult into the array argument, we don't have to use Control Shift Enter. That array argument there is actually programmed to handle array operations without Control Shift Enter. The only trick is index usually requires a row number, a column number, or both, and it delivers a single item. But we want all the items, so check this out. I come to the end. There's my array. I type a comma, and it's asking for the row number. If I leave that empty or put a 0, it tells index to deliver all the values. So that's what we're going to do. All we're doing here is using index and a 0 in row number to avoid Control Shift Enter. So when I hit Enter, no problem. It lists it perfectly. If I look up into the formula bar, no curly brackets. Either way you like it, with the index or without, that formula is amazing for delivering a sorted list of modes in a single cell. All right, next video, actually, 1302, we'll actually see how to list all the modes. But they won't be numbers. They'll be text items. All right, we'll see you next video.